Hello, welcome to another Open Philosophy video. I'm Dennis Polis. This video is about the mind and evolution. We're going to be discussing a number of ideas which call into question the naturalist account of the mind's evolution. The first point I want to make is that naturalist assumptions make the evolution of the mind impossible. Naturalists have a completely different model of mind than that formed by people open to all human experience. This difference includes a denial of the efficacy of human intentions to control behavior, and that is going to prove fatal to the idea that the mind evolved through natural selection. Both naturalists and people more open to experience agree that we are affected by the environment and that we produce behavior which affects the environment in turn. It is when the data gets to the brain that our views begin to diverge. Eliminative materialists want to deny that there is any such thing as an intentional subsystem or intentionality in human beings. So while the rest of us see that we are aware of some of the data that we perceive, eliminative materialists deny that we experience intentions and consider them to be theoretical constructs of what they denigrate as folk psychology. Moving downward from the intentional theater of operations, materialists deny the possibility of intentions controlling our thoughts and ultimately our behavior. While various naturalists differ on details, they all share a basic model in which the environment affects the brain through sensation, and then the brain, without any causal input from intentions, controls behavior. So how do thoughts come to be? Well, for those naturalists who are willing to admit that there are such things as thoughts, they are a side effect, an epiphenomenon, or else they are a reflection of brain processes. How it is that we are aware of them is not made clear, but in any case they are a side effect with no causal power. The causal inefficacy of intentions has come to be a principle of the naturalist worldview, the principle of causal closure. Jagwan Kim argues, if you pick any physical event and trace out its causal ancestry or posterity, that will never take you outside the physical domain. That is, no causal chain will ever cross the boundary between the physical and the non-physical. As we will see shortly, this lack of causal power prevents natural selection from doing anything to advance the evolution of the mind. Evolution works by unpredictable variations in the genome, and then having natural selection, or the laws of nature, select those variations which lead to higher reproductive rates and longer survival. Thus, the only factor that counts in evolution is how the organism interacts with its environment, its behavior. Now let's look at a segment of an interview with Alvin Plantinga, where he's discussing the evolution of intelligent being. Now, the, the neurology that causes their beliefs, I mean, that causes their behavior, also causes their beliefs. Um, and now the question is, okay, suppose their behavior and their neurology is in fact adaptive, what about their beliefs? What about the truth of these beliefs? Well, I think you can see that it doesn't matter about the truth of these beliefs. It's the, if the neurology causes the right behavior, the adaptive behavior, what they believe makes no difference. The belief, you might say, uh, floats along as an extra. There it is. They have, hold these beliefs. That's caused by the neurology. The neurology is adaptive. But the beliefs don't have to be true for the neurology to be adaptive. If the neurology causes false beliefs but causes the right behavior, makes no difference whatever. If we grant naturalists the claim that the first glimmers of conscious awareness of intentionality could appear quite by accident, the problem remains that those first glimmers will never go anywhere. They could just flick out of existence, or they might grow off in some random direction spinning false fantasies. But since they can never be checked by natural selection, there is no way for natural selection to improve intentionality and move it along in the direction of truth, because intentions simply can't do anything that natural selection can test and select for. At least that's what naturalists tell us. It's logically inconsistent to believe both that our intentionality, our consciousness, evolved 
and that intentionality is powerless to affect our behavior. If it is powerless to affect our behavior, then there is no traction for natural selection to select consciousness or improve it and make it more veridical. Thus, once again, naturalism has proven itself to be inconsistent and irrational. Thank you. Please leave comments.